Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, Happy New Year guys. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and a lovely New Year. Um, in this video today, I have decided to show you three patterns that I would potentially give to a beginner. Um, there's two that I would definitely give to a beginner and then potentially one that I would give to maybe someone that isn't an intermediate but is a very middle high beginner if that makes sense um, so two of them are definitely straight up beginners that I would say is a good way to get started they're both pretty easy they're both easy to follow and then the third one is more of a middle beginner slash high beginner um, so that's exactly what I'm going to show you guys today is those three patterns. I just thought it'd be really good to get a video up to show you guys what three patterns potentially I would use if I was going to be starting sewing. Especially as it is New Year, so many people want to start sewing or so many people are sewing but want to get a little bit better. Um, so I just thought I'd give you guys my opinion on the three patterns that I would potentially start off with. Um, there is one pattern that technically I haven't got. Um, because I just make it up myself. One pattern that you could use is um, you can make yourself a cushion. That is quite a nice, easy, simple one to start with. But also it gets you guys learning how to use, how to put in zips and how to get used to putting in zips, which is also a pretty good way to get started. Um, because nowadays mostly everything has zips in it or buttons or whatever it may be. Um, I feel that starting off learning how to use zips straight away is the is the best idea because once you've got one in you can keep going and you can keep practicing and then that way you get used to it even more. Um, so one of them is a cushion um, but that isn't in in my three patterns today because I haven't obviously got one. That is just a pattern that you can make up at home. It's literally just a square. So I made one the other day that was 19 inches by 19 inches. Um, so you can do it that way. But that isn't one of our patterns today but I thought I would just put that out there in case anyone isn't confident enough to start off with clothing because all these patterns that I have here are clothing. Um, and if you aren't confident enough then obviously you can start with a cushion, a makeup bag, a pencil case, whatever it may be. Um, but sometimes if you want to get straight into clothing I would say go for one of these three patterns personally so I'm gonna put them in order like what I think is easiest to like hardest um, so the first one is actually a birder pattern so this one is the birder kids 9398 and this is basically just a little kiddie pattern they're little dungarees they are amazing they are so cute they are so easy to make and there are only three patterns. There's only three, um, there's only like three paper bits to it, um, which is really nice and easy. It doesn't take up loads of fabric. And obviously, as you can see on the different styles, you can start to add stuff or you can just go plain. So I made a pair of these for Angeline, for her baby, for, um, for little Luke. And he is so cute, he is so adorable. I sent them over. I'm not sure if he's worn them yet. I think because I made them, I think, a year bigger than what he is. Um, but yeah, I made them. They were so easy to make. Even though kids' clothing can be quite tough because obviously it's smaller, the smaller pieces. These weren't too bad. They were actually pretty easy to follow and you only really have to use the tiniest bit of fabric. I think it's like, I don't even think it's a metre yeah this one goes up to 18 months and you only need half a meter for it which i think is pretty good for a pair of kiddies joggers um so i'd highly recommend using one of these the fabrics you can use for this is jersey fleece sweatshirt fabric and light or lightweight denims um so yeah i'd highly recommend getting one of these patterns if you are wanting to start off nice and simple um because they, this is pretty simple, it's three patterns and that's it. Um, the instructions are easy to follow and they're just really, really easy. Yeah, so that's that one. Okay, so the next one is definitely a little bit harder. Um, it's still kid, kids wear for now, because I, th I think sometimes when you're starting off as a beginner, kiddies wear is your best option because it's the instructions can be a little bit easier, but also the pattern itself can be easier um, so the next pattern is actually I have demolished this because I've used it so many times but this one is a quick sew and it is K3945 and this one is a key pyjama set 
So with this one, obviously you see you can get the long one or you can get the short one. I have made this a couple of times and I actually did this one, was it this one? Yeah, I actually did this one in my workshop at Sewing Bee Live and it went really, really well. Everyone really, really enjoyed it. I am currently in the process of getting a um, tutorial up on this, but because it's so long, um, it is taking me a little while because I'm having to film a bit and then obviously I'm gonna have to edit it all and it is quite, even though it is quite an easy thing to make, it's quite time consuming. It's more the top that's time consuming, whereas the trousers are quite nice and easy. I think I might do it in two separate videos, so like shorts first and then top, um, but that is like my next video to do, so that is like the one that's like in the process getting done. Um, so that's that one. Again, easy to follow. This one goes from an extra small to an extra large. Um, which I'm not sure like age wise um, whereas this one is um, it goes from one month to 18 months whereas this one goes from extra small to extra large but it also obviously tells you on the back like the chest, the height, the waist, um, the hips everything you'd need to know to be able to pick the right size for your child or your grandson or your granddaughter or your niece or your nephew whoever it may be but this is another one that is quite easy to follow. It's an elasticated waist, which is nice and easy to do. Um, and obviously, again, you can always add like little bits. So like they've added, if you look on the longer one, they have added uh, contrast collar and cuffs. So you can always do that. You can add fr frill onto the pocket. You can add rickrack onto the collar. You can add whatever you like. And that's exactly what they have done on this one. So that is my second pattern that I would potentially recommend to a beginner. Um, this one is obviously a little bit more harder than this one because it, you know, it's got more into it. It's got an elasticated waist, it's got buttonholes, it's got pockets, it's got cuffs, it's got collars. So I would say this is definitely a middle beginner. So I'd say potentially this is a beginner beginner and this is a middle beginner just because there's a lot more things into it. But if you are a beginner that is wanting to learn quite a lot on your first one, I would highly recommend going for this one straight away just because there's so much into it but it's so easy to follow um, so even though you may be a straight up beginner it's quite easy to follow and it's quite easy to do um, so my third pattern I know I'm rushing through these pretty quickly actually um, so my third pattern is actually sort of like a teenager slash adult type pattern um, so again this is another bird of pattern um, and this one is Birdie Young 6480. So as you can see, it is two types of skirts. So you've got one that's got more of a frill and bigger pockets, which is on this side. And then you've got the one that's more simpler on this side. For a beginner, I would potentially go with this side, the more um, simple side, because it's just a case of pockets and a zip right down the front. Again, I would recommend this to probably a higher beginner just because it's got a zip. I'd say people that have been practicing zips, I would definitely use this pattern because judging by this one here, it's simple, it's easy to follow, it's got a waistband, it's got pockets and it's got a, a zip right up the front, which is very stylish at the moment as well. Um, and yeah, it's very, very trendy. It's what's in at the moment. Not that that is important or anything. Um, but I'd highly recommend this one as well just because it's simple, it's very easy to use, there's only a couple of pieces, there's the front, obviously the front, the back, the pocket and the waistband and that is it. Um, which I think for a beginner or a high beginner is nice and easy because it's only a couple of pieces. Again, the instructions are very, very easy to follow. I thought that it was really nice to follow even though sometimes when you get used to sewing you then you can read the instructions from the pattern but then you end up making your own way because you find that there's an easier way for you um, but I'd highly recommend this one to a higher beginner um, because they're just it's really nice and easy to do and really easy to follow so those are my three patterns as you can see that I would recommend to a beginner potentially that looks like I'm naked oh oh dear if you are a beginner beginner and you want to start off with just cushions, pencil cases, makeup bags, anything like that, that is absolutely fine. I'm not, you know, I'm not suggesting that people want to go straight into clothing. This is just a video to say that if you did want to go straight into clothing, those are the three patterns that I would potentially recommend. Um, 
Another pattern that you could use as well, obviously going back to kiddie pyjamas, you could go to adult pyjamas, they're quite easy as well. Um, but if you are wanting to start off with makeup bags and cushions and things like that, there are a load of range of patterns going out there that are for those types of things like teddy bears, makeup bags, cushions, all sorts, iPad casings, anything like that. If you're wanting to start off more that way and then build your way up to clothing, that's fine. I would then still recommend those three patterns for you afterwards but otherwise I'd just start off wherever you guys feel is comfortable for you guys yeah I know this video has been quite short but I just wanted to sort of get on here say hi to you guys say happy new year and basically just recommend the three beginner patterns that I would potentially use especially as I'm trying to build up my YouTube so sort of like from beginner up to intermediate up to advanced um, so that's what I'm going to do from now on so I'm going to sort of build it up as if someone was learning how to sew and it would be like a step by step um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I know it's been short but I just wanted to come and say hi and let you guys know that I'm back I'm here there's going to be more videos coming your way another quick thing as you guys may have realised I do not have red hair anymore my hair is like a brownie blonde um, whilst I was on holiday my hair went very blonde and very faint um, and also I wanted to give my hair a bit of a break from the um, from the red hair just because it was being dyed every three four weeks I am still the girl with the bright red hair do not worry my name is not going to change nothing like that is going to change I'm still the girl with the bright red hair it just necessarily isn't me that's all um, so if you guys are wondering why I have dyed my hair that is exactly why um, so now I can, especially as my roots are sort of back to the normal colour that they naturally are, I can let my hair just grow out and naturally want to go back to normal. Have a lovely time guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!